Hi guys and welcome back to Flashback Friday. Today's Flashback Friday palette is going to be the Amorizi and Anastasia palette. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. I love it because of all the warm colors in here and you have all five matte shadows on the bottom and then all the shimmers on the top. Definitely my most used out of this palette are Morocco, Caramel, and Legend. I wanted to kind of mix it up today. I am going out after this. I'm going to a birthday party, so I had to have it somewhat wearable, but I just wanted to break this baby out. So, if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this look, then just keep watching. So to start off, I'm using Eden Primer Potion by Urban Decay, and then I'm gonna break out my Amorese palette. So with a fluffy blending brush by Royal and Langnickel, I'm going to take Caramel and Morocco and blend that into my crease using this as my transition color and I'm really going to make sure I blend this out really really nice so that you can't see where the color stops and starts. With a smaller and flatter brush, I'm going to take Deep Plum and hit the inner and outer corner of my eyelid. And now with whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to connect the two outer edges and blend it out. To blend out the harsh edges, I'm using a Sigma E25, and I'm just gently pushing the outer edges up into the transition color. To help blend out the Deep Plum a little bit, I'm going to take a little bit of Glisten and pop that right over top of where Deep Plum was. And of course, we have to make sure that everything's blended out seamlessly, so we're going to take that E25 and blend away. Don't ever feel like you are blending too much. You can never have enough blending. You can see I'm tipping into the deep plum a little bit and blending even further. So when you do a look like this, blending is key. And one more last time, I promise, I'm taking Deep Plum again and just deepening up the inner and outer corner. To bring our halo eye together, we're going to use Legend and pop that in the center of the eye. Ugh, I can't deal with how beautiful it is. I just can't. And of course, we're going to take our E25, our trusty E25, and blend away those harsh edges. They are not welcome to our party. We're going to go to the bottom lash line and take Morocco and buff that from inner to outer corner on the lower lash. Taking a little bit of deep plum, I'm going to hit the outer and inner corner of the lower lash line, keeping the center open because we're going to pop a little bit of legend there. Of course, I have to bring a little bit of glitter to the party, so I'm going to take this Moondust Shadow by Urban Decay and use my finger to pop that right on top of the center of the lid and the bottom lash line. To line my waterline, I'm using Walk of Shame 24-7 Waterline Pencil by Urban Decay. This is just going to open the eyes a little bit more with how smoky the look is. Mm -hmm. 
Before popping on lashes, I'm using L'Oreal Telescopic to just gently coat the top lashes, and then I'm gonna use it on my bottom lashes as well. I have to mention, I love this mascara for my bottom lashes just because of how thin the actual brush is. Hello, iconic lashes. Hello, how freaking gorgeous are these lashes? And that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to follow me and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.